Hey, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how and when you can use the slice method, which is on the array prototype. So basically, the slice method is a helper function which takes an existing array and creates a shallow copy from a subarray that's inside of that array and returns it. And so I have a couple of bullet points here to kind of help us understand the slice method. Uh, it takes two optional arguments. So the first argument is a begin argument, which represents the begin index. And then the second argument is a end variable, which represents the ending index to where you can take out that subarray. And some key points to take away from this is it's useful for extracting subarrays. It does not modify the existing array that we're calling on. And it's going to return a new shallow copied array containing the extracted elements. So with that being said, let's scroll up and try to do a couple of examples to see how the functionality actually works. So scrolling up here, I have an example array of length four that has four elements in it. Elements A, B, C, and D, and these are the indexes above each element. So for the first example, if you were to call a slice with no arguments, right, because both arguments A and B are optional, this is going to return us a shallow copy of the entire array for us, like so. Uh, basically, this is saying just give us starting index at zero, and end index will be at the length. So to kind of demonstrate that, I'm going to move over to JS bin where I have a little code snippet ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and just run this code to demonstrate. So if you notice here, sliced is going to print out with A, B, C, D. And another thing I want to kind of demonstrate is that this array is not equal to the sliced array because they're both two separate array objects just happen to be containing the same length and variables inside them. So if I run this, notice that this is going to print out false. And then this just kind of drives home the idea that slice is going to return a shallow copy. So let's move on to a couple of more examples. So again, it takes two arguments. So if we were to just pass a single argument, such as the argument one, what this is going to do is it's going to tell the implementation to start at index one and grab me everything that is including index one to the end of the array. So if I do slice of one, it's going to grab me all of these elements. So if I were to go back to JS bin just to demonstrate, let's do slice of one and that should return B, C, and D. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's try a couple of other examples. So let's say we wanted to grab only this element D, what would we do? Well, obviously you just put the index that you want and that will grab starting at that index. So if I wanted to start here and grab everything after, we could just put a three here. Just to kind of demonstrate that, that's only gonna grab us the D. So if I go back to JS bin, change slice to a three and run this, Notice that we get back a D. So another cool thing that you can do with the slice method is you can actually give negative numbers for the argument. So if I were to do a negative two, that's actually going to move back two spots from the end of the array. So if I go start here and go negative one, negative two, notice that that is going to give us all the elements that come after that location. So if we do negative two, it should give a C, D. And it does. And of course, negative three would give us B, C, D. Negative four would give us A, B, C, D. So that is kind of examples using the first argument. Let's move on to using two arguments. So if I were to go and just start with, um, I'll put a comma there to represent both of the arguments we're going to pass. So let's do another example. Let's say we just wanted to grab B, C. So the subarray B, C here. We just wanted to grab this. What we can do is obviously for the first argument, we need to pass one because we're trying to grab this 
index at one here. So let's just put one. And then if we wanted to grab all the way up to C, but not including D, you'd simply just put the index that you want to stop at. So I'm gonna put three here. So slice of one comma three should give us the subarray of BC. And then again, let's go to JSBin and visualize that. So one comma three. If I run that, we get back the subarray of BC. Notice we can do the exact same thing with negative numbers. So if I were to go ahead and erase this, and we wanted to grab, let's say, A and B. Of course, we could just do one comma two if we wanted to get that. But to kind of demonstrate the negative numbers that we can use, we could do a negative four, which is going to point, point which is going to put us at negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And then what we could do here is we could do a negative one, negative two to put us at that location. And that is another way to grab a subarray using negative numbers. So here I'll just do um, negative four, negative two. And notice that that returns us a b. All right, so let's kind of demonstrate one last example. So let's say we wanted to grab a, B, C, and we wanted to not include the very last element of our array. What we could do is again, we'd say grab me or do a slice at index zero. So index zero would be here. We're shooting for A, B, C. So let me just draw the blue under it. So we know what we're looking for. And then what would we need to do for the second argument to make sure that we don't include D? Well, we could do three, or we could just do negative one. Now, the benefit of using a negative one is that regardless of the length of this array, it's always going to work. If we just used a three here, it's only gonna work when the array is length four. If this array gets larger, it's only going to grab us the first three elements. But what we actually want in this example is we want to grab every element except for the last one. So here is a good example of how to do that. And let's just go ahead and look at that. Let me draw where we're going here, negative one. And then in JSBin, let's just go ahead and do a zero, negative one. So notice that we get ABC back. And if I were to keep on adding elements here, it's going to give us everything except for that last element. Now, if I were to have that three, like I was talking about, Notice that no matter what I do, it's always going to return us three elements. So some other things I'll just kind of show really quick is if you were to give a provide a value which is kind of out of bounds, so if I do slice 30, it's going to return us an empty new array. All right, so that's just kind of cool to know. Same thing with negative 30. If I do negative 30, it's going to return us everything in the array. So you're able to go out of bounds, you just kind of have to know what happens when you have a value that's out of bounds. All right, so that's all cool. You should have a good understanding of how to use the slice method, how it returns a shallow copy of a new array object, and the different ways you can specify positive and negative integers to know what indices you need to pull out for that subarray.